hello YouTube! Welcome back to the One in a Million channel. This is Eunice Chan here and I am tuning in at in the late evening, 9.30 at night. Diego's playing basketball, so that means alone time for Eunice! Alone time with Eunice! So today, I have decided that I want to pull up a topic that I ha it has been like kind of reoccurring in my life. I want to clarify this topic because I think, I think, in with all the manifestation content on the internet, on YouTube, and with all the things that we learn about manifestation, actualization, the law of assumption, like, uh, we can kind of get entangled with some of the things that we've been told and not really have a place to ask them when we come across a belief that feels like, oh, is that, is that really true? So today I want to clarify this belief or this concept that we would manifest something bad if we're feeling bad or if we're thinking about bad things or negative things. Or having negative thoughts along those lines so this kind of came about when I, I have clients <laughs> and by the way like most of my clients are very much like me like they're very like type a personality get things done moving forward we want to like make progress in life and um, I used to be the kind of person who I don't want to be held back by myself and so are my clients. And so whenever I felt a feeling that is just like inconvenient and it's a negative feeling and I have some fears that are that are going on in the background and I have a fear about my future and I'm worried about my situation and with the things that I have been hearing about manifestation, a lot of it is like, well, what you focus on expands. And I'm like, oh, snap. If what I focus on expands and I'm focusing on like my negative emotions and I have fear about my future, I have fear about my present, I have fear about my situation, I have fear about my living situation, I have fear about finances, I have fear about my clients leaving me, then oh crap, like people are going to leave me and I'm going to manifest something bad because if I think about it, it means that I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to manifest it because if what I focus on expands, then, <laughs> then I'm going to bring it into reality. I've always thought that way and have always tried to like tread away from those thoughts. Like whenever I feel like, oh, this negative feeling is coming up, I better not feel it. Focus on the good things, focus on the good things, change your mindset, raise your vibration, Eunice, like just focus on gratitude and <laughs> Like, and it was so, so stressful because I couldn't make myself feel the way that I wanted to feel. It's like it just pops up whenever it wants to. And uh, of course, like whenever it comes up, like it always comes up at the most inconvenient time. Like, it always comes up when I feel like, okay, I just want to maintain this state. I just want to, I just want peace. I want to feel good and then all of a sudden this fear like just pops up. Of course it just feels really inconvenient and I want to make it go away. The more I have learned to just accept what I feel, the more I learned to feel safe with myself. Now what I've learned is that whenever we have this um, whenever we, we have this belief and we're embodying this belief of if I think about something bad or if I am focusing on something bad or if I'm thinking about my negative feelings or negative emotions or fear, mostly fear because fear is very like crippling. And it, it, oftentimes like when we focus on the fear, like it, it feels like it's eating up our power. When we feel that, not only is the fear itself rippling, not only is the fear itself draining our energy, we then have this fear about the fear, right? So not only are we feeling the first layer of the fear, which is the level of which we, we're afraid that the situation is gonna happen in the near future, or these bad things are going to happen, I'm gonna, 
um, I'm gonna have to deal with this situation and then my mind goes forward to think about okay I'm like already dealing with the situation and I'm already experiencing the bad feelings but then there's this other part of us that threatens us to believe it well it threatens us to think that if I continue to think about this and if I continue to feel this way it means that I'm going to manifest it so <laughs> Not only am I experiencing that thing, I'm also experiencing, oh crap, the anticipation of me potentially bringing this thing to life. And it's a th we're posing a threat to myself. What we're actually saying is we are not safe in our bodies. Like my mind is not a safe place. This is what we're telling ourselves. We're sending a message to ourselves that I cannot be trusted. I cannot rely on my feelings because my feelings are going to give me away. My feelings are going to throw me under the bus. My feelings are going to um, put me in a desperate situation. My feelings are going to um, manifest bad things for me. So I cannot count on myself. So it actually is that belief that if I focus on something bad or if I if I feel negative emotions that I am inevitably going to manifest something that I don't desire, that is a belief that is the most disempowering. The moment I learned to give and bring safety to myself and I realize that what I'm experiencing is just fear and I'm only just thinking about the scenario, I'm thinking about what could potentially happen in the future, I'm just thinking about it. When I realize that I'm not actually experiencing the situation, like I'm not actually dealing with it in the moment, but I'm just having an experience of it, experience of it, I'm just imagining it, then it starts create I start to create this distance between me and this image or this scenario or this mental movie that I'm playing out in my head and then I realize wait a minute I don't have to pose a threat to myself if I already feel so threatened by this fear that could potentially happen why do I have to give more fear to myself by continuing to threaten myself by continuing to make myself believe that I'm going down the wrong track by continue to, continuing to think that um, I, I'm doing something bad, like I don't want to put my, I don't want to continue to put myself in that situation. So I decided that you know what, I can experience fear. It's okay for me me to experience negative feelings. It's okay for me to feel anxious about the future. Like that entirely is okay. Just because I feel anxious about my future. And just because I feel I'm afraid that, oh, maybe I'm not going to do well or this month's not going to be a good cash month like and all those, all those things does not mean that I'm going to manifest it. It's just my mind playing out the mental movie and I am observing myself watching it. And so it's, it doesn't, I don't get sucked into it. And it doesn't mean that if I think about it or if I have negative feelings that I'm going to manifest the bad thing. What that has helped me do is that I no longer put myself in a situation where I have to threaten myself, right? Now, when I remove this threat of me posing a threat to myself, I start to understand what it feels like to be safe in my body. And I think this is very, this is extremely important. Because the moment we can learn to give ourselves peace, to give ourselves this feeling of safety, this feeling of security, learning to hold ourselves, you know, from anything that is happening in the external world, as well as everything that is happening in the internal world, what that means is no matter what happens, I can feel safe. I can feel safe whenever there's an external threat, and, and even more so, I can feel safe in my internal world. I don't need to think myself out of a negative situation 
because I'm no longer posing a threat to myself, so I don't need to protect me from myself. I can just purely be the provider of my own safety. You see what I mean? This was like such a huge light bulb moment for me when I realized, wait a minute, I don't have to pose, I don't have to continue to pose threat to myself. I don't have to scare myself out of thinking a negative thought or feeling a negative feeling. I don't have to scare myself out of thinking that. And instead, I could just accept it. And the moment I accept it, I no longer become a threat to myself and I no longer believe the fact that, or no, I no longer believe the idea that if I continue to dwell on this, this thought that I'm going to inevitably manifest something bad. And so my whole being just relax back into myself, right? Instead of thinking and always being on guard that I need to like spar with this belief and I need to fight off that belief and I need to like <laughs> fend myself from these thoughts. I need to protect myself from like my own negative thoughts. Like I don't have to fend me against myself. I can be my own best friend in the sense that I can hold the space for myself to feel whatever it is that I feel, to um, experience whatever it is that I experience and just welcome it with open arms and just have allow myself to have the experience instead of rejecting it, pushing it away, thinking that I am my own threat, thinking that I am not a safe space, thinking that I am not a safe person to be with. And what I've come to realize is that even though I can experience these, these fearful thoughts and they, they come up, you know, they, they still come up, but I no longer think that I am my own enemy. I no longer feel like I have to protect me from myself, which really feels, it, it really feels very unhealthy. And it really feels like I'm a lot of times I have been working against myself but now I have just made me my own best friend. It's like, yeah, all right, well, if you don't feel good, come over here, pull up a chair and we can chat. We can have a coffee. Like that's the kind of vibe that I have with myself. There's the relationship that I have with myself now. So I really encourage you guys to just kind of feel into this different dynamic and the relationship you can have with yourself because I do believe that once we stop trying to like spar with our thoughts and trying to always just change to a better feeling thought, I feel like we can really ease back into our being. So anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this helps you clear up any, any kinks that you have, any beliefs that you have that you don't want to have about manifestation and about manifesting good or bad things and just allow yourself to feel safe with you, with your own thoughts, with your own mind and allow whatever thoughts come up surface on its own and, you know, just holding that space for your, that sacred space for yourself. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I love you guys. Let me know what you think about this video. And with that said, take care and I'll be seeing you in the next one.